kind of actionette from Blue Dwarf. Recorded by David Ball and written by Andy Jones on March the 15th, 2011. Seymour looked at Rosette and before she could do anything he grabbed her and pulled her close to his body. Then he pushed his bearded face onto hers and kissed her with tongues. Rosette pushed him away as soon as she realised what was going on. She coughed and spat at the floor, mostly because of who it was. What the hell is wrong with you? she asked. You're drinking Chardonnay at room temperature, she yelled. And you could have brushed your teeth before doing that. I lost my toothbrush down the lift shaft, he said, suddenly going back to feeling sorry for himself. Look, you're not my type. I owe you for putting me up when I got on the ship. So I'm going to do the same for you, as long as you don't go trying anything like that again. Oh, uh, are your quarters as posh as mine? He asked, wondering if she'd have any more expensive wine he could drown his sorrows with. It's not as posh as yours was, but I've gone for the more practical approach, she said, then in her mind wondered how he'd react to seeing his old paintings on her walls, the expensive ones that she'd bought to repair the damage done when she was a bug. Now we're out, I've got to get some mints, and then go to the department head meeting, she said, crawling out of the hole made by Pancake back to the main corridors of the ship. Oh God, why did I do that? She asked herself when she was out of earshot. He just tried to kiss me and I gave him space in my apartment. She cursed and punched a wall, not hard enough to break anything, but it made a relaxing sound at least. Sorry I'm late, got trapped in a broken lift, Rosette said as she entered the briefing room only a few minutes late. She sat on one of the free chairs and looked around the room. Eee! Came a small voice from the other side. No, you miniature Welshman, I fired you a month ago. A month ago, she said, pointing at the door while looking sternly at him. He slowly walked out of the room, looking even more sorry for himself than Seymour. Until that moment, he spun around at the door, yelled, Eee! and stuck his middle finger up at Rosette. Then he disappeared out into the ship. What was that about? Amber asked, not knowing much different from Minifil being the security deputy. It's about time someone got rid of him. He's never done anything to benefit security and he's been paid the whole time. Goat porn magazine on the company's expenses account really doesn't look that good. Ahem, <clears throat> Jay said from the head of the table. He actually managed to make clearing his throat sound like the word too. The reason I've asked you all here today, he began when everyone was paying attention to him, is to be continued. This podcast is a work of fiction and is in no way endorsed, approved or even liked by the creators of Red Dwarf. For more stories and information, visit bluedwarf.co.uk.